Side Squad, I need y'all help to help me understand what the fuck is going on in 2024. Bro, 2024 is probably going to go down as one of the craziest years in history books. And we not even and we not even halfway through the year, you feel me? But this first half of the year, bro, has probably been the craziest year ever. You feel me? Like dealing with entertainment wise, music wise, on um, goddamn content creating wise, and even weirdo wise. You feel me? Which is we have a lot of weirdos in this fucking world, and it's fucking disgusting, and it's crazy because they all half of them are all in our field in content creation. So guess what? We finna get into it all today in this video. So let's get it. So obviously this year started off with a bang, obviously. In, Jan in January, where Cat Williams came out the woods and went on Shannon Sharp Podcast, Club Shay Shay, and literally exposed the whole Hollywood industry. Talked about it all, you feel me? Saying like how folk when got them a black person joined the Illuminati or they did try to get to where they got in their career, they all get a light skinned wife that all looks like each other, which is kind of true. I'm not gonna lie. If you look at some of these folks' wives and everything that's light skinned, they literally all do look alike. I'm not gonna lie. You feel me? Ever since he came out and did that podcast, this year has just been fucking crazy. I was like, I said, it started off with him. Then they said, you know, we got Diddy. Ain't nothing like a Diddy party. <laughs> My nigga just came back from one of the Diddy party Shen, you should have been there nah, it was dick and balls everywhere like Shen, where were this for stuff that came out about diddy it finally came to light you feel me he finally got exposed getting exposed what he did got down for federal agents walking to his house raiding the house saying they used to file some crazy shit and everything which i'm not gonna lie am i surprised no even though i'm talking like i've been knowing this shit going on but i really don't but since i heard the stories you know what i'm saying People been saying, you know, did he did some foul shit? Did he did this? Did he did that? All that, you feel me? Which, I, like I said, if there's a lot of people coming out and saying that you did something, you did this, bro, that shit gotta be true. I'm just being here real. I understand innocent until proven guilty to other people, but black people is guilty until proven innocent. <laughs> just saying. I gotta feel like Diddy ain't the only one who been doing that that type of shit. I'm just being real. I feel like he ain't the only one gonna lie. I feel like, you know, half of these folks are these rappers and entertainments, but I feel like they don't done some, some, if you shit, you feel me? But then we finally got good fucking music, you feel me? We finally had got a real deal rap beat. We finally got real deal music for my boy Kendrick and everything. Which, like I said, this rap, like, this rap beat between Kendrick and Drake was, like I said, was probably the best rap beat since Big and Big and Tupac. Cause it's like, niggas was really going at each other, you feel me? I'm not gonna lie. Drake had got some pushback. Drake, you know, came out with push and I'm not gonna lie. I kinda had gave the dub to Drake. I thought I kinda thought Drake was gonna kill Kendrick. That's thing you know, that nigga Kendrick draw Euphoria. It was over with from there. Then, then when he dropped the same day that Drake dropped Family Matters, it was like he already knew. He dropped Meet the Ground. That's a song that could literally be in a horror movie. No bullshit. That could be in a song being like some serial killer type movie. It was crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I was scared to listen to this shit. Then he went on his phone, Drake said, you know, Drake was a pedophile, all that shit, you feel me? Which is like, I'm not gonna lie. Drake kinda did snitch on himself with the pedophile shit, I'm not gonna lie. Next thing you know, he dropped the biggest song of this year, which is probably, he's gonna win a Grammy off this song, Not Like Us. And bro, he got everybody in this motherfucker crip walking. No bullshit, he got everybody crip walking, you feel me? Everybody dancing, they playing, they bumping this shit down in Atlanta. Just being real, you feel me? But like I say, it was part of the best rap beat that we don't had in a long time, or the real deal rap beat that we don't had in a long time without blood being shit, you feel me? Oh yeah, and I almost forgot, also, also, what was that, in January, we had an alien fucking invasion. It's crazy how, it's crazy how that happened in January and everybody just forgot about it. it like, it just, it like, it just vanished, you feel me? Like, Miami literally had a whole alien attack where aliens was walking, was walking the fucking earth. Like, bro, we literally just almost had E.T. cuts and almost attack us. What the fuck? Like, and we just all forgot about it, you feel me? Even though, like I said, aliens are weird, are real. They are real, you feel me? Like I say, if I see an alien out the back, out in my backyard right now, bro, like I say, I'm gonna invite that nigga, but we gonna invite that nigga and we gonna smoke a blunt together. No bullshit. I wanna see, I wanna see how cool the alien is, you feel me? Hey, if he adopt me, hey, it is what it is, you feel me? That's not even the craziest shit of what happened this year. We literally almost got to witness a fucking president, or I guess you could say, a former presidential goddamn assassination you feel me and like i said not a lot of folks getting to witness that shit you feel me that shit is a once in a lifetime shit you feel me even though it's kind of like i'm sound like i'm praising somebody attempt to death you feel me even though i'm not you feel me? But i'm just saying that's a once in a lifetime you feel me? like obviously 
Folks got to see, you know, Kennedy shit was Kennedy shit was crazy. You feel me? That that a piece of that nigga skull came off his head. That was that shit was so graphic. I'm not gonna lie, God was on Trump's side that day. I'm not gonna lie. If you don't believe in the God or whatever, I but that day, that he was on Trump's side. For you to move your head a millisecond before the bullet was able to get to you and it flies right past you and grazes your ear. Bro, that shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. You, you, we, we, bro, we not gonna, that shit gonna go down in history books. You, nigga, our kids, our kids are gonna be reading about this shit. Oh, what happened on Woot Woot Day in 2024? Your kid raised your hand. Um, Donald, Donald J. Trump was almost assassinated. You feel, you feel me? That shit gonna have me. You feel me? Like, what the fuck was bro doing? Like, bro ain't got no fucking, that nigga let out three shots and then hit none of them. Like, bro, what the fuck was you doing? You was playing Fortnite, nigga? Nigga, it's kids that got better. It's 12 year olds that got better aim than you. You feel me? What the fuck was you doing, nigga? It's crazy how this year, bro, content creators has been in getting exposed almost every month. You feel me? And it's a good thing, cause it's like, man, these motherfuckers are weirdos. And it's crazy, cause it's like, how many motherfuckers these kids really looked up to? Like, Dr. Disrespect, bro. You know how many kids looked up to Dr. Disrespect, bro? It's crazy, bro. Like, but at the same time, they weird. You're weird. You're a weirdo, but you can't come after that. You testing minors and shit, bro. That's disgusting. You're, dis you're disgusting if you testing minors and shit, bro. I don't care. Bro, I did not realize. We, I mean, I knew we had pedophiles or whatever, but man, I didn't know it was this fucking bad. You feel me? Obviously, you got Vitaly. He be rapping his career, you know, exposing these pedos. You feel me? I just seen yesterday where the, him and the game had got down, beat some nigga ass in the goddamn um, bathroom and all that. But at the same time, I'm glad this shit happening. Beat these niggas ass. Expose these motherfuckers, bro, because y'all are the worst of the worst. You texting fucking kids, nigga, and you 30. You 30 or over 20. You weird, nigga. You weird, buddy. You're weird. Oh yeah, and I forgot to bring up, uh, we all might be becoming superheroes lately and we all might get a real life version of the boys since Compound V has been invented and found in somebody. So guess what? Like I say, if I ever got down get a, get some Compound V and I stick my stuff with it, bro, I don't know who I'm gonna become, but hey, hey, y'all boy better watch out. I might be Homelander 2.0, just being real, y'all might wanna watch out, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? But like I say, you know, like I said, this year is crazy as fuck. It's crazy. Like I said, and it's only July, y'all. It is only fucking July. July, nigga. Like, bro, what, 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 what? How can it get any more better? Any more better or any more crazy? When we got August, September, October, November, December, we have five more months left. Five, five more months left. And this shit might get more crazy. You feel me? Like I said, hey, but hey, at this back end of the year, hey, but y'all gotta, y'all gotta step up. Y'all gotta step up. Y'all down three one right now. <laughs> you feel me? Y'all down three one. Y'all gotta step up. This back end of the year, gotta step up. But that, that's really all for this video. I just really want to talk about, you know, what all we don't experience in this first half of the month. And like I say, 2024 is probably gonna be a top five year. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna lie. A top five year all the time. Them and 2020 are neck and neck. They're they're literally like this. They're neck and neck. You feel me? 2020, we obviously had COVID and. A lot of shit that would happen there, thing, but 2024, man, if we talking about a drama, a drama year, hey, 2024 is up there. You feel me? But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Oh yeah, another thing, I see that everybody loved, you know, the last video of what actually happened on the first day of school and all that. So I appreciate y'all for all the love and everything and all that. But hey. It's more to come to the future. You feel me? But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. If you want to check out more videos like this, check out videos right here to this right-hand corner. Other than that, it's your butt back. We out. Peace.